Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice algebra problem which is x squared minus y, this is equal to 73. Let's call this equation 1 and that y squared minus x, this is equal to 73. Let's call this equation 2. So what is the value of x and what is the value of y given that x is not equal to y? So let's prevent the solution from here. The first step from here. Let's subtract equation 1 with equation 2. So we have x from equation 1. This is x squared minus y. Subtract what we have equation 2, which is y squared minus x. Cross the parentheses. This is equal to 73 minus 73. So that now, here we have x squared minus y. Let's open the parentheses here. So minus y squared, then plus, minus times minus x, this is plus x, then this is equal to 73 minus 73, which is equal to 0. So the next step from here, we can we can group this, we have x squared and y squared here, so we have x squared minus y squared, then we have plus x, we have plus x here, then minus y, this is equal to 0. So x squared minus y squared, this is in the form of a squared minus b squared. This is the difference of two perfect squares, which we can express as a plus b, then a minus b. Now, applying this identity, then here we have x plus y, x minus y, then plus, here we have x minus y, this is equal to zero. So we find that x minus y is common here, so we can factor out x minus y, so that into the parentheses, we have x plus y, then plus 1, this is equal to 0. So we have two parts here, the first part is x minus y, this is equal to 0, and the second part here is x plus y, plus 1, this is equal to 0. So this implies that from the first part here, x is equal to y. And this violates the condition that x is not equal to y. So this first part here is rejected. So the first part here is rejected. Let's proceed to the second part here. We have x plus y. This is equal to plus 1. You take plus 1 on the right hand side. So this is minus 1. Let's call this equation. 3. Now, the next step from here, let's add equation 1 with equation 2. So, equation 1, we have x squared minus y plus equation 2. Here we have y squared minus x. This is equal to 73 plus 73. And this implies that here, x squared plus y squared then minus here we have minus x minus y this is equal to we have 73 plus 73 and this is equal to 146 so we have x squared plus y squared now we can factor out one so that now into the parentheses we have x plus y this is equal to 140 6. Now, x plus y, <coughs> this is what we have in equation 3. Equation 3, x plus y is minus 1. So substituting minus 1, we have x squared plus y squared minus 1 times minus 1 here. This is equal to 146. So therefore, we have x squared plus y squared minus 1 times minus 1. This is plus 1. This is equal to 146. The next step is to take plus 1 on the right hand side. So that now, here we have x squared plus y squared. This is equal to 146 subtract 1. And this implies that x squared plus y squared, this is equal to 146 minus 1, which is 145. And let's call this equation 4. This is equation 4. So we have equation 4 here. 
and again from equation 3, that is from equation 3, which is x plus y, this is equal to minus 1. Let's square both signs from here. So x plus y squared, this is equal to minus 1 squared. Therefore, from here, this is x squared plus y squared, then plus 2xy. This is equal to minus 1 squared. This is equal to 1. Now, x squared plus y squared, this is what we have in equation 4 here. So let's substitute here. So we have 145 plus 2xy. This is equal to 1. So from here, let's take 145 on the right hand side so that now 2xy, this is equal to 1 minus 145. And we have that 2xy from here. This is equal to minus 144. So let's call this equation 5 from here. So the next step that we have here, we have that x minus y squared. This can be expressed as x squared plus y squared minus 2xy from here. And this implies that x minus y raised to the power of 2, this is equal to x squared minus, I mean x squared plus y squared, this is what we have in equation 4 here, which is 145. So we have 145, then minus 2xy. We have 2xy is what we have in equation 5, which is minus 144. So therefore we have that x minus y raised to the power of 2, this is equal to 145, minus times minus 144, this is plus 144. And therefore we have that x minus y raised to the power of 2, this is equal to 145 plus 144, and this is equal to 289. Now, so for x minus y, we have to introduce a square root sign on both sides, so that this is equal to plus or minus the square root of 289. So that now, we eliminate the square root sign here, so we have that x minus y, this is equal to plus or minus the square root of 289, which is equal to 17. So this implies that we have two parts here, that is x minus y, this is equal to 17. And we have here also x minus y, this is equal to minus 17. Now, from equation 3, which is x plus y, this is equal to minus 1. And also equation 3 again here x plus y, this is equal to minus 1. So let's solve for x and y from the first part here, and x and y from the second part here. Now, these are two green equations here, so let's sum these two equations. So we have x plus x, this is 2x, minus y plus, plus y, this is simplifies, this is equal to 0, then this is equal to 17 plus minus 1, this is equal to 16. So let's divide both sides by 2 here, and we have that the value of x here, that is x1, is equal to 8. Now let's solve for x2, that is we can solve for y1 from here. We have that x minus y, this is equal to 17. Let's substitute the value of x, so that we have 8 minus y, this is equal to, so we have x1 is equal to 8, so we can solve for the corresponding value of y, that is x minus y, this is equal to 17. So substituting the value of x, we have 8 minus y, this is equal to 17. Let's take 8 on the right hand side, so that we have minus y, this is equal to 17 minus 8. And this is minus y, this is equal to 17 minus 8, this is equal to plus 9. So that we divide both signs by minus, and therefore we have y1 is equal to minus 9. So we have the first set of solution here, that is x1, comma y1, and this is equal to 8, comma, minus 9. So this is the first set of solution here. 
This is the first set of solution here. Now, from the second part, we can solve for the value of x2 and y2. The second part here is x minus y. This is equal to minus 17. And we have x plus y. This is equal to minus 1. So let's sum these two systems of linear equations here. x plus x, this is 2x. Then we have minus y plus y, this is 0. And we have minus 17 plus minus 1, this is minus 18. So if you simplify here, we have that x2 is equal to minus 18. That is divided by 2, this is minus 9. So we have the, the value of x2. We can solve for y2. Remember from the equation, we have x minus y. This is equal to minus 17. Substituting x, which is minus 9 minus y. This is equal to 17. Let's take minus, minus 9 on the right hand side. This is actually minus 17. So we have minus y. This is equal to minus 17 plus 9. And this implies that minus y, this is equal to minus 17 plus minus 9. That is plus 9. This is minus 8. If you divide by minus a, then this implies that y2 is equal to 8. So we have the second set of solution here. That is x2, comma, y2. This is equal to minus 9 and 8. So this is the second set of solution here. Therefore, now these are the two set of solutions that we have. And therefore, let's verify that these two set of solutions satisfies the equation. Now, if you recall, we have x squared minus y. This is supposed to give us a value of 73. And this was equation 1. And that y squared minus x, this is equal to 73. This is equation 2. Now, let's substitute x1, y1 into equation 1. So we have 8 squared minus, we have y is minus 9, so it's minus 9. This is supposed to give us a value of 73. So 8 squared, this is 64. Minus times minus 9, this is plus 9. This should give us a value of 73. 64 plus 9, this is equal to 73, which is equal to 73. So the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this implies that x1, y1 satisfies the equation. So let's take x2, y2 here, which is minus 9 and 8. Equation 2 here, we have y squared minus x. This should give us a value of 73. Now let's verify x2, y2, which is minus 9 and 8 using equation 2. Equation 2 here is y squared minus x. This is equal to 73. This should give us a value of 73. So we have 8 squared minus x. Remember x is equal to minus 9. This should give us a value of 73. So 8 squared, this is 64. Minus times minus 9, this is plus 9. This should give us a value of 73. 64 plus 9, this is equal to 73. And this is equal to 73. So the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this proves that x2, comma, y2 satisfies the equation as well as x1, y1. So can you follow the steps? Like this video and subscribe kindly like and subscribe see you in the next video bye bye